Gee, I, I can't wait to see something here. The Rose Music Center is opening tomorrow in Huber Heights, and Alexandra Lewis takes us there live, the Miami Valley's new entertainment hub. Alex? The Rose Music Center is a name you'll probably hear a lot this summer. Now, we're out here tonight. These gates are finally, uh, they're locked, but they're finally going to open for the first time tomorrow as the summer concert series opens. Uh, you can't see, but right here, there are still guys working at the very wee hours of the night tonight, getting ready for tomorrow's big day. We've been anticipating for four months, so we're real excited for it and see what it brings as far as the business goes. Possibly nobody has higher expectations for the Rose's big debut than TJ Chumps, located just feet away. I'm expecting for there to be 3,000 people on my front door, and we'll be ready to take care of all of them if we need to. The city of Huber Heights has high hopes for its state-of-the-art music venue, and so do folks who live here. Uh, I think it's a lot of money spent, but... Hopefully it'll bring a lot of positive, you know, business and stuff here. I like it because I used to go to the one in um, catering. Great. Beverly Grant is glad the phrase now has some competition in her own backyard, literally. I'm right there. I can't even get a chair and listen to it because I'm that close. <laughs> Locals aren't without their concerns. I think it'll have some traffic issues. But an impressive inaugural lineup seemed to smooth over Tim's worries. Leonard Skinner, a lot of good stuff that, you know, big name stuff. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised by. When some cities are losing revenue sources, city officials hope the Rose will do just the opposite, anchor a movement of growth and development in Huber Heights. Compared to like places like Trotwood who, you know, all this stuff move away from Trotwood. So it's kind of good they come here and, you know, the money stays here. That exact philosophy brought TJ Chump's fourth location to Huber at the very first of the year. The city of Huber Heights and the area is what brought us here. Um, the, the Rose is obviously a huge part of that, but then the, the big picture and seeing what the potential for the area is, I mean, that's, that's the long-term plan for sure. We got the scoop for you. There's actually a way for you to see the inside of this state-of-the-art facility without ever buying a ticket. On Sunday, there's going to be a free community open house with hot dogs and drinks and beers. Fun for the family between 1 and 4, completely free, right here. Reporting live here in Huber Heights tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.